This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, the Python version, level 28. Let's see what we're doing. Goals. Defeat the ogres, gain access to the tomb. Okay. Remember that a parameter, and again, this is all technical stuff. Don't worry, I'll talk you through it, is a way of passing information into a function. It is predefined variable. It is a predefined variable of whatever the argument is when called. Okay. What all of that means. Target is the parameter. That's a parameter. Whenever we run this function and we put something else in this for target, that would be an argument. So this is where we define check and eat. Okay. And we say, okay, target, if target dot type equals fruit, eat it. So we're asking the computer, wait a minute, does target equal fruit? The computer says true. Then we drop down and our hero eats. Else our hero tosses it. Now, what is target? Well, Remember, functions only run when called. So when we hit run, the computer doesn't run this yet. It hits the wall true loop and says, oh, okay, move up, got it, nearest tree, hero, find the nearest tree, uh, create this variable, food, hero, harvest the nearest tree, and it creates food, check and eat, and then what's this? This is the argument. Argument is food. It's the parameter up here. So what happens is the computer says, check and eat. Well, let me look around for what, oh, we have this function, check and eat. Okay, and what's target? Target's really food. So food, if food type is fruit, eat. Else, hero toss, food. This food becomes target, and it's used throughout this function each time it's run. Let's try what, this out. Check if the target exists. Okay, so if, check if target, oh right, because this is the parameter right now. So if, If target is all we need, we're checking, saying, hey, computer, do, is target a thing? If so, attack target. Okay. Attack target we need. We're going to attack target because it's target, target, target. Use an else to do something if there is no target. Okay. So else, and else is only run if this is false. So if the computer says, nope, whatever your target was isn't doesn't exist, Okay, zoop, it skips this attack code, hits else, and runs attack door. Okay, now, when we hit run on this, the computer does not run functions yet. It only runs functions when a function is called. What does that mean? Well, look. So it would actually run wall true, enemy, hero, look around and find the nearest enemy. Okay, if, and it assigns that to enemy. If the hero finds someone, their new name's enemy. If the hero finds nothing, the enemy would equal nothing. Then we say check to defend enemy. The computer says, okay, what's that? Oh, here's this function. Okay, and target is enemy. And then it says, if enemy, does enemy exist? If true, it attacks. If false, it drops down and runs our else. Then we hit the bottom of our loop and go again. Let's test it. Great, so here's the code that worked for me. Let's keep going.